Good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. We would ask you to whisper a prayer for us as we try to teach and we might be a blessing to you that are here and to those that are watching throughout the United States and wherever they're at. I pray that the Lord will use something that I read to touch a heart and um, to let people know that there is a Savior in the world, or there was a Savior in the world, and He's in the, He's in the uh, beside the Father. But anyway, let's go to the the book of John. I love to I love to teach in John, and the chapter is uh, chapter twenty, and it's concerning the. The death and the burial and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we won't read, start in chapter 20 and verse 1. We're going to read quite a, some and then we're going to make a few comments to you. But in the chapter 1 of verse 20 of the book of John, the first day of the week come Mary Magdalene early when it was dark unto the sepulchre, and see if the stone taken away from the sepulchre. Then she runneth and cometh and come to Simon Peter and to the other disciple, this other disciple, which was John, whom Jesus loved, and said unto them, They have taken away the Lord our, out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. would like to make a stop here just a minute and make a point in this. Uh, Mary was very concerned about the uh, what she thought was the soldiers had come and moved the body of the Lord Jesus Christ and today uh, as we try to serve the Lord we should be uh, in that condition as far as serving the Lord we need to be concerned about what's going on in the world we need Amen. to be concerned what type of Bible we have we need to be concerned about many things the way our world is turning and the way our government is we're doing and we need to open our eyes and look because uh, there are things going on that will tell us things and here Mary looked down and seen that or looked and seen this the the stone was removed and she was very disturbed and that's the that's a good condition to be in when you're disturbed about serving the Lord but she said here in verse uh, 3 after she had ran and told Peter uh, this thing that Peter therefore went forth and and that other uh, disciple came to the supper. So they both, so they ran both together, and the other disciple did outrun Peter and came first to the supper. Now I've often wondered why that God would have that uh, put in the in the scripture, and I have no idea. But I just want to make mention of it. Why, how, what? There's a meaning there of, of John outrunning Peter. Right. And I, I have no idea what it is. A, a lesson that. It was uh, telling the ages or something like this. But anyway, so they both ran together here. And then in verse 5, And he stooped down and looking at in, saw the linen cloth laying, yet went he not in. Then come a Simon Peter following him and went into the sepulcher and seeing the linen cloth lie. And the napkin that was about his head, not laying with the linen cloth, but wrapped together in a place of by itself. Now, there's a certain, there's there's a blessing here, and uh, and the old law and of uh, this. And Peter, when he saw what he saw, he knew he knew that something that had happened, and, and that that they hadn't taken Christ away. But anyway, uh, here in verse eight, it says, "Then went in also that other disciple, which came first to the supper, and and, and he saw and believed." Amen. Now. For as yet they knew not the, the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. Now I wondered about this because Jesus had said over there in, in, the, in John here that in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. He told them this, but they didn't understand it. And the thing of it is, this morning, so many times we don't understand God's word and how that we read it, and uh, it has to be banged into us and banged into us and showed to us. But listen, they did not understand the the death and the burial and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ at this time. So He says here, for as yet they knew not 
the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciples went away again unto their own home. Now here is discernment. They were not concerned whatsoever, it didn't seem like, about the body being gone because they didn't understand right. the resurrection. But the thing of it is, Mary, she was concerned about this thing. Right. And so, uh, in, in, this, in this scripture here, in this lesson here, we see a point that we don't need to be uh, in too big a rush about uh, not seeing God's work. Now notice here, uh, after they had went home, but Mary stood without at the sepulcher weeping. And as she wept, she stopped, she stooped down and looked into the sepulcher. Now she's fixing to see something that John and Peter didn't see. Right, right. Now she saw, and we'll see here, and seeing two angels in white sitting, the one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Now, I, I, I am of the opinion that this is a type of the, of the Ark of the Covenant where that the two uh, cherubims are sitting and, and the holies of holies. And this is why the two angels were here because this was a holy place even though Jesus had left. And, they, and Mary needed to see this. And uh, she, I'm sure that she uh, didn't understand what she was looking at at this time, but she later on did. So he says here, and, see, and seeing two angels in white sitting, the one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain, and, and they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? And she said unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord. Amen. Now again, we as God's people need to think on this thing here about when they said, when she said, Because they've taken away my Lord. Now, people, they're taking your Lord away from you every day. Right. They are trying their best to eliminate God's Word. Amen. They are trying to eliminate uh, the 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 birth that uh, the the uh, birth of Jesus Christ. They're trying to eliminate all of the, the resurrection they hate, and they're trying to do away with your Lord. And so here we need to be in a condition like that Mary Magdalene was in. We need to be. Uh, in, in tears, we need to be uh, wanting to get into this Bible and to study and to dig and to, and to eat and to feast upon this Word and to get our heart and our spirit satisfied and to uh, keep our eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ. So here we see that she was was broken up because of they had taken her, her Lord away, and, and now she says, "And I know not." where they have laid him. Now that she was concerned about the body and she was concerned that they had taken him away and so she was she was in a terrible condition. But here I want to see something. And when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing. Amen. Now people, she did not at this time recognize the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And listen, there is many a times uh, when he when he appeared on the road, uh, that road, and was talking to those people. They did not recognize him. And listen, even when he come in, and we'll read that later on. But even when he came and walked through the wall, the door, they didn't recognize him. And people, we this morning sometimes. There's things that happen in our life and God is in it full and we don't recognize it mm -hmm. for what it is. And we need this morning to have our eyes more open, our heart more in tune to God's Word and, and, and recognize what's going on in our life because, hey, you're His children. And He plays an important part in your life every day. And so many times we just let it go by and we don't say thank you, Lord. You know, so many times we do not 
We do not give thanks. And uh, we, do, we, we just don't give thanks. And we should be drawn closer to the Lord because listen here. And when she had, she had thus in verse 14 said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seek thou? She still didn't understand. It. Right. She still didn't know it was him. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. She, supposing him to be the gardener, said unto him, Sir, if thou have borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said unto her, Mary. Amen. Now listen, people, this morning, you may have, you may have run and done a, 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 have a terrible life, and God has, through the Holy Spirit, spoke to you, and you did not, you did not grasp it. But bless God, when He called your name, when He called your name, you knew it. Mm -hmm. And listen, you opened those ears and that eyes and you heard what He had to say to you because listen, that call is the most important call. That voice is the most important voice that you'll ever hear uh, while in existence. Amen. Because listen, that, that, that voice, that word means the difference in you going to a devil's hell and to a heavenly home in Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. Here he said, Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned herself and said unto him, Rabona. Amen. Yep. Amen. And, 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 and mm. she said, <clears throat> let, me, let me get back to my place now. I'll, I'll, Rabona, which is to say, Master. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended unto my Father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I send unto my Father and your Father uh, and to my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that He had spoken these things unto her. So we see here that he, she has, she heard what he said to her. Listen, he, she went and told Peter and him. Now, in our, in our Bible, in the study, in, the, in the garden, Jesus, uh, there was, there was a, a, a woman by the name of Eve, and you know who I'm talking about, Adam's wife, and she was the one that caused us to have that great sin. Mm -hmm. She's the one that did the act with, uh, of partaking of the fruit that caused us to do this. This woman here was the one in the garden at the same time that told us about the resurrection. Mm -hmm. Now you think about that, people. The woman, both, both times the woman was used to to do this. Now notice here, after the, she said, after she went and told them, Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things that he told her. She told him of the resurrection. And now <clears throat> uh, I, I'll go over cool about that. But then Mary uh, then in verse 19, then came the same day at evening being the first day of the week, Amen. when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. Now, we're going to see here that all the disciples, not, not the apostles, it says, but it says the disciples, and that was more than the apostles, that was his followers, were gathered together on the first day of the week, which is Sunday. Right, and they were gathered there, and they were going to. I, I'm, they were having a prayer meeting, all right. And they were serving the Lord. And notice here, what? The, and, and then Jesus came here in this sign here. He says uh, they were uh, they were uh, uh, afraid or feared the Jews, and they had this place locked up. And this this thing, if he was this was locked up, and we this morning. Uh, we need to take close attention to this. And when in uh, in verse 19, uh, in uh, they assembled 
for fear of the Jews, and came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. Now, these disciples had been there at the tomb. They had looked in and they didn't do anything. They just went to their home. They went and left and went back to their home. Now, Mary, she stayed there for a while. But the thing of it was, Jesus did not fuss on them. Jesus did not say, why didn't you do this? Jesus didn't say, you should have stayed. You would have seen something. But no, He said, peace be unto you. Amen. And people, that's the message this morning that Jesus Christ is still offering. Peace be unto you. And if there be one this morning here that does not know about that peace, you need to be praying to the Lord Jesus Christ and asking Him to give you that peace. Because listen, uh, one of these days, one of these days, you're going to close your eyes in death. Amen. And that soul of yours is going to leave that body. That body is going to go to the ground. And it's going to rot. And then that old soul is going to go to one and give it. And that is, if you're lost, it's going to the devil. And if you're saved, it's going to the, the heavenly Father. Right. But listen, you don't want that one trip to the, to the devil's hell. But here's the thing of it. If that body of yours that is lost... If you, if you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, that body that you have right now, if it's eat up with cancer, if it's, if it's broke all the pieces, and done, listen, it's going to be in hell in the same condition. Mm -hmm. It's going to be there. And you can, you can, put, you can put that in your, and you down and write it down in your book. It's for sure. It's going to be there. And, uh, and all the agony and the pain of right. being there, uh, it, it's going to be there. And so you, and it, you, need to hear, you need to hear God's Word to you and say, uh, and hear and say, Peace be unto you. Because it's, the only, it's what you put here for. To, serve, to get ready to go and serve Him. Amen. And that's that's it. So here again, this these the 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 the, the Lord Jesus Christ did not rebuke the, the disciples and the, and the and the ones that was there. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Amen. Now the disciples was like Mary there. They did not really recognize him until he put his hands forth and showed them where that they had thrown those little big spikes and his feet and his side where they gouged him with that sword and where the blood run out. They did not recognize him as because notice here he says here in verse 20 of then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so when he came through that door, when he appeared in that in that meeting with them, their people, they did not really fully truly recognize Jesus Christ. And they had walked with him and, and it was like uh, in other places when he had appeared to others, they didn't recognize him. But listen, when the, when when he showed them these things, and, and you know Thomas, Doubting Thomas, we'll see here just in a few minutes, but Doubting Thomas had to see the very same thing before he said, My Lord and my God. Mm -hmm. And we this morning need to open our eyes a little bit more and see the things that is going on in our life because the Lord Jesus is surely showing us some things. So again... Here uh, in, in verse 20, uh, in verse 21, then said Jesus to them, Peace be unto you, as my Father has sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them Amen. and saith unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Right. Whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted unto you, them, unto them. And whosoever sins ye retain, they are retained. But Thomas was not there. Thomas was like Peter was. Uh, you know, a little bit later on we'll see Peter. I go fishing. Mm -hmm. 
I go fishing. And they and there was there was there was enough to follow him over in chapter 21. Notice here in the verse 3. Simon Peter in, in 21 3 said unto them, I go fishing. Now they weren't concerned, they weren't concerned to the point that Jesus had appeared to them and all this, but he was more concerned about the fish. And of course, we know that Jesus showed Peter, which was the most important. And so, if you'll notice here in this, there's seven in this chapter 21, verse 1 through 3. There's seven of them. The, the, the perfect the perfect number, seven, and that's where we, we come back with when God created the earth and all this, He made it in six and rested on the seventh. And why we say the seventh is because that there's nothing could be added to the building of the earth. There's nothing could be taken away from it. Right. So here we see the seven here, and it's, 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 it's Peter that says unto them, I go fishing. And we, this morning, Sometimes we get this attitude, hey, what to use? I'm going to go back and I'm going to do this. And Peter, uh, he had an experience with the Lord. And if you'll read on there this morning, uh, or sometime when you get an opportunity, read the rest of this this uh, 21 and it'll show you some of the things that that uh, John uh, and Peter was out there fishing. And, and John recognized the Lord. And, and, G and, and Peter was there, evidently didn't have no clothes on. So right. Right naked. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you know, things of this nature, I, I mean, you, you, you've got to see what what was going on in the disciples or the, the apostles' minds and all of this uh, during this time. But anyway, uh, these are some of the other things that I wanted to bring, to, bring uh, to you. But anyway, this is a lesson that I... Uh, wanted to try to teach to you this morning. And I hope that something you've seen here or heard will, uh, will bless you a little bit and uh, draw you a little bit closer to the Lord because uh, I know I know that Mary Magdalene got a blessing from mm -hmm. singing and yeah. waiting at the tomb. And I know this morning you and I can get a blessing for, for waiting on the Lord. Amen. Just, uh, just keep you, just keep your eyes open, and uh, and uh, think about these things, and, and I know the Lord will bless you. Uh, it's, it's, it's like I said for the boat. You're His children. Amen. You, call, you can say what you want to, but if He's called you, if He chose you before eternity or in eternity, He He chose you. And then when you got out here in this life, He called you. And listen, that's just like Mary. He, Mary, mm -hmm. Junior, Diane. Right. Listen, there's a call. And the old song says, there's a call come bring you. Right. So, there it is. Thank you all so much for listening. Amen. Amen.